Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 editor tutorial. This one is on playing custom sounds in your mission and the reason I'm doing this is I did one a while ago on the same thing and it seemed to confuse a lot of people and there's a lot of questions regarding it. So I'm doing it again and trying to make it a little simpler and a little clearer now because it is a little bit tricky for beginners especially to set up custom sounds in their missions. So let's get straight into it. First thing you need to do obviously is place a playable unit and before we do anything else we need to go up to scenario down to save as and then you need to save the name of the mission by putting a name in here and then clicking on save. So here is our folder for the mission that we've just saved and we've got uh, a folder and two files in here. Mission SQM we don't need to do anything with. We've got a description.ext, which you will require for this to work, and we've got a folder called sounds. In the folder called sounds, I've got a few different sounds in there, and you'll note that these all have names, and that will become important when I explain how to actually play them. And the first thing we need to look at is the description.ext. Okay, so if you don't have a description.ext folder, um, what you need to do is go to right click, new and text document, then name it description and take out the txt and make it ext. Okay, and now I've already done that and there's my file there. So I'll just get rid of that one and let's have a look at the file. Now you do require a description ext as I said before and you need this section in here okay so this is class cfg sounds and you'll notice um, i have some sounds in here i'm going to look at the bottom three i'm not going to worry about the first one so i have here class cas now you'll need to uh, know what you're naming these and you'll see name cas sound and then i have sounds backslash cas.org which matches the sound there called cas we'll go back to the description and we have uh, a class orders name orders and then a path to a sound file then we have radio 2 radio name radio 2 and sounds radio 2 so i'll explain firstly how you play these and a little bit of background on how these uh, work with regards to the class names okay so in the mission i've placed a trigger and to get the triggers you just go to f3 and select a trigger if you select a 10 by 10 by 10 which i often do you can just hit the spacebar four times and then you're able to move the trigger around and resize it. Inside the trigger, this is where I want my uh, initial orders sound to play. And the way the sound is set up to play in this trigger means that everyone in the mission will hear it. You don't need to be at a particular location, everyone's going to hear it. So I have activation type as any player present. Uh, condition call and in brackets this again call and then in brackets play sound orders okay now you note that is not the path to where the file actually is that is a class name for that sound and here is that class name class orders and then I have a path to the sounds folder backslash and radio1.ogg okay so the class name does not need to match the file name okay so all we need to play this sound in our trigger is the name orders so when this trigger is entered it will tell the mission to play the class name orders, which is actually radiosound.ogg. Okay, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm about to enter into that trigger. Call signs, this is zero alpha. Stand by for orders to move in five out. 
So that is how you play a sound for everyone in the mission to hear it. You don't need to be in a particular location. Next I have two other triggers here and I've just placed tables with a radio. And using this method uh, it will play what's called 3D sound. So the sound will only emit from this location. So for this to work you need an object with a class name. Oh, sorry, a variable name. So I've placed a radio here. And you can just find radios by going to objects. I've over props and then type in the word radio. And you'll get a whole bunch of options there to use. So I've placed the radio on the table. And I've opened the radio and I've given it the class name of R for Romeo 1. So R1. In the trigger, it's a little bit different to the last trigger. So I still have activation type as any player present. This in the condition. But in on activation, all I have is R1, say 3D, radio 2. And you'll see here that I have class radio 2, name radio 2, and the path to the radio2.org sound file. So now when I approach this table, there'll be a sound. And you'll notice when I turn away from it, the sound sounds like it's behind me. And that's because it's playing that sound only from this radio object. This one here is the same. So this won't play to everyone in the mission. It will only play to those who are near this object. And the sound will come directly from the radio. So you see as I'm walking away from it, or I face it, I can hear it. If I turn away from it, I can hear it behind me. So it's playing a 3D sound pattern from this object here. And if we check out the second trigger, you'll see it has R2, say 3D, and in brackets, CAS, semicolon. And the R2 is the variable name of the radio. You can use whatever object you like as long as it has a class name here. And the class name is referenced in the on activation section of the trigger for that object to say or play that sound. So all these other things here in the description EXT you don't need for this to work. All you need is this section here. Okay. And remember, we've got to have the uh, name, as in the class name, the actual class name name that the mission will reference, and the path to the actual sound file. Now, this number here, I've got five here, five here, and four here. That is the volume. So if it's not loud enough, just make this number higher. This number here is the speed at which the sound will play. So if you want it to play faster, you could uh, increase that number there. But uh, it's best just to leave that default as number one. So just to quickly recap, we have a trigger here that plays a sound to everyone in the mission, regardless of where they are, by using the call play sound and then the class name of the sound as referenced in your description.ext file. Then we have an object, which is a radio with a variable name of R for Romeo 1, a trigger with R1 say 3D, and in brackets radio 1 closed with a semicolon, sorry, radio 2, and again another object with a variable name of R2 and a trigger with R2 say 3D and then CAS which is the class name of the sound. I will export this mission uh, so that you can download it and open it up and have a look at the triggers, have a look at the description.ext and the way that the sound folder is set up, which is just simply a folder called sounds with some sound files in it. 
The link for the mission will be in the description below. If you have questions, ask in the comments section. Come and see us on our Discord. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next video.